Welcome to MEC 440 Mechanical Engineering Design. My name is Jay Mendelson and I'm one of the professors for this course. In these videos, I will give you a hands-on summary of how to organize your project and create a product spec, conceptual design, and detail design. This should give you a good understanding of how engineers in the industrial world do their work. First up is the project proposal. This will be the focus of your work for the first week of the course. Your mission will be to form a three to four person project team within your section and define what your group will work on. The most important thing is to choose an idea that you are genuinely interested in. This will give you the motivation you need to work productively on this course. We created a formalized list of projects for you to work on that is available to you in Blackboard. Once you pick one, complete the project proposal per instructions on the next slides and email a copy of the slides to both of your class professors. Generally, we allow up to two teams per project. If more than that apply for a project, your class professors will decide which teams will work on the project. If you have your own idea, it must be approved by your class professor. Project ideas must meet all of the following criteria. It must be predominantly mechanical in nature so that you can use the mechanical design skills from your core departmental classes. They can't be a copy of a commercial product, such as a drone, a skateboard, a backpack, a heated coffee mug, a drink cooler, a bicycle. Your idea must contain some novel, useful, and well-defined features not found already in commercial products. You must contain a written product design criteria as shown in the project list and you have to scope the project in a feasible way so that it can be completed on time by your project team with standard reimbursement. And by the way, standard reimbursement for prototype production is roughly $280 per team member. Please make sure to track your estimated prototype costs before you freeze your design. If you're obviously over the budget of $280 per team member, you're going to need to scope back your prototype. Here is the format for your project proposal. By format, I mean you copy and paste this template slide into your own PowerPoint file and then write down answers underneath each of the questions. Think of this as a short open-ended homework assignment for your team to complete. Please include a cover sheet with a project title, group number once we assign it to you, section number, name, and student ID of each student member. Please also include the name of a faculty advisor for your group if you already have one selected. As we get our class organized into teams, we will create formal groups within Blackboard so that teams can upload their slides as well as future project reports. You may have used the group module within Blackboard for other classes involving group projects. That's what we're going to do. Now let's go over in detail what our questions mean so that you can effectively answer them. Question one asks you to describe what the problem you're trying to solve, not your solution to it. It's an important distinction. You won't have a full solution to your customer's problem until you complete your prototype next May. Right now, we just want you to explain what the problem is from the perspective of the customer. Question two asks, how will you solve your customer's problem? What challenges will you face and how will your team approach those challenges? Positive social impacts could be a reduction in carbon footprint to reduce global warming, another way of reducing global pollution, a design to promote renewable energy sources, a product for physically impaired people, or a technology to assist people in developing countries. Existing mechanical engineering initiatives include the motorsports team, the solar boat team, and the AIAA Stony Brook chapter. If you're working on a project that is related to another Stony Brook club, document that here. The resource chart in question three should show what each person on the team will do according to your project needs and people's skills. For example, if your team needs patent analysis, market research, concept creation, mechanical design, prototype assembly, and prototype testing, write down which person will do which task. 
the task is large enough, it may take more than one person to complete it. In that case, write down two or more names. Please make sure that all team members are gainfully employed on the project. This slide shows some available resources to help your team select a project. Your first and simplest choice is to select a project from our formal project list. You may speak to faculty as noted in the project list. Specifically, we show faculty that have either thought of the idea to begin with, have advised numerous student groups on this idea in the past, or some combination of the two. A couple of incubator websites are noted. For any group interested in working on a robotics project, you might want to attend the upcoming World Maker Fair on the date shown. I went to a recent fair and it was well worth the visit. You get to speak to inventors and learn how they built robots that they display at the fair. Good luck to you.